What is going on guys, Narcoleptic Nugget here, and I have some fire for you today, boys. So I'm on here for base right now, and I have a question for you guys. Have you ever had an attacker who just sits on warehouse and picks apart your team, and you've wanted an easy way to get rid of them? Well, I got you covered. What you want to do is go over here, boom, boom, and look at that. Easy view of the warehouse without breaking too much of the window. You can also do that right here. Boom, boom, look at that. Easy view of the warehouse. You might be thinking, Nugget, isn't that the same as every other peak that you've taught us? And no, it's not. And you want to know why? Let's go take a look. Let me show you the outside view of what this peak looks like. Cash me outside, how about that? All right guys, so we are on the warehouse right now. And as you can see, that is absolutely filthy. If I'm over here, I can't even see them, like, I can't see them broken at all. If you go to the very top of this ledge, like, you can kind of see it, but even then, like, that is just disgusting. So this is an easy way to take out anyone on the warehouse here. And now, I can't take credit for this trick. Um, it was told, told to me by my boy in the face, and I'm going to leave his Xbox gamer tag at the bottom of the screen right there. So go show him some love. But after he showed me this trick, like... I was like, hold up, like how many other windows and spots can you apply this little trick to and just get some like dirty peaks? And so that's what we're gonna get into in this video, boys. I'm gonna show you all the best spots to use this trick on all the maps. So without further ado, let's get into it. Damn. To all my subscribers out there, if you could go to my main channel page right now and click the bell icon beside the subscribe button, you'll stay up to date on all my latest uploads and it really helps me out. Here in my garage, uh, just bought this new Lamborghini here. So on house map, my favorite place to use this is when an attacker is in the treehouse. And I just go into the living room here, break these two, and as you can see, you lie down. Easy view of the treehouse right there. You can do either of these windows. So here on Oregon, guys, we actually have quite a few. So the first one is when the objective is in the bedroom right here, and you are defending it. You can just come into this little tower, punch right above this little bar here, right there. Just like that lie down and as you can see that gives you a nice view of the roof and any attackers that are going to push this side the next one is actually in this little bedroom right here you just want to break the window again not too low right about there and if you lie down you get a nice view of the tall tower the watchtower so you can see the roof you can see anyone repelling on it and that window right there if anyone's gonna you know breach in there and also this one right here Again, it gives you a nice view of the watchtower. And I guess I don't really have to show it, but <laughs> this one right here, same idea, but except this is on the actual right side, so I should show it. Another view of the watchtower, another angle. A lot of attackers like to sit up there and like kind of like scout, I guess. I don't really know. But yeah, this is a good spot to kill them. And now we are in the watchtower, and another one that you can use when the objective is in that far bedroom is this one right here. And you just lie down. And as you can see right there, it gives you a good view of the uh, roof above the bedroom. And the other one that you want to use is, right, are these two? Now these ones aren't as good as the other ones, um, but again, you can still see, like, right there, you can see the roof, so if any of the attackers are up there, I mean, it's an easy kill, because there's no way they're going to see that. And the same goes for this one, um, I'll just shoot it quickly. Um, it gives you a nice view of the roof right there. So, and also right there. But let's go to the next map. And now we are on the map canal, and this one is for when the attackers are right here. So this is going to be when the objective is either server room or maps room. What you're going to want to do is just break the window right here, just like that. And if you lie down, it gives you a clear view of that ledge, where the attackers sit when they're pushing the objective there. The other one is in this little room right here. You just want to break this, just like that, and lie down, and it'll... It'll give you view of the other roof. Anyone repelling is an easy kill for you, and it's unlikely that they'll see this broken window. The other ones on this map, and there's actually three, are all on this floor right here on the other building and along this wall. So there's one, and then there's two in this room. I'm only gonna show you one of them because they're all very similar. So I'm just gonna break this one right here, just like that. And that gives you view of the other building roof where there's usually snipers, either right there or right there and they'll be easy kills for you. All right, so we are now on the map chalet and this first one's actually a spawn peak. So in my opinion, the most common place that attackers spawn is in the southeast corner over there behind those trees. And a uh, path that they often take to get to the building is through that gap right there. So what you wanna do here is just come over here and you wanna break this bottom left corner. I know this is a double window, just like that. And look at that. That gives you a clear view of that pathway 
and this is really hard to see from there. Um, it's unlikely unless they heard you break it or saw you with their drone. Um, they probably won't see you here and it's an easy kill. Um, and the other one is in the library right here and this one is actually peeking the ladder right here right outside the window. So you're gonna mostly use this when the objective is in this room or on the other room that is on this floor. And again, I already pre-broke it but you just wanna break right here and anyone coming up that ladder is an easy kill. It's unlikely they'll see this right away. Again, unless they saw you break it. So let's go to the next map. Now we are on the map Yacht Guys, and honestly this map doesn't have too many good ones, but there's three decent ones in the master bedroom here. And so the first one right here, as I've already pre-punched them, is this one facing the spawn. As they come up from there, you can get them right there. This one is kind of waiting for them to pass by right here. And the last one is also waiting for them to pass by right here. Now let me show you guys what it looks like from outside. So this is what it looks like for the attackers coming from the southeast spawn. And as you can see, that is extremely hard to see, especially with the window there and there's a little bit of dirt. Like, you can't see that, even zoomed in. So that's an easy kill for you, anyone walking by here. And let me show you what it looks like on the side here. Anyone that walks by these windows like this, like, look at that. That looks completely intact. No one's gonna really look down in this little corner. Like, look at that, that is hard to see. So anyway, they're gonna walk by, easy kill. Let's go to the next map. Alright guys, so we are on the map favela here and I have two spots to show you. So the first one is actually for killing attackers who are either running through right here or are like out here slow pushing this room. And it's actually this window right here. You may or may not have noticed that I've already pre-punched it. It's extremely hard to see and any attacker who's not paying attention or didn't see you break it, it's unlikely that they'll see you. But anyways, that's what it looks like from the outside. What you want to do and I pre-punched it is punch right there and then you just crouch, go on the top of the stairwell here. And look at that. It's a clear, easy view to see an attacker and kill them. Um, the other one is actually right out here. And the other one here is actually for killing attackers who are either repelling up this wall or who are hanging right here to peek this room. So a lot of people tend to do this. They hang out right here and the peak is actually right there. Now, as you can see, that is like pretty much impossible to see, but let me show you what it looks like from the inside here, guys. Um, so run through here right here and I pre-punched this one as well so look at that easy kills if they're hanging on this wall or repelling up so yeah go get them so we are now in Barley University and there's a couple spots that I wanted to show you guys and they all have to do with this side of the building this south side and that's because there's three potential objectives on this side of the building that cause it to be a high traffic area so the objective could be in this room it could be in this room or it could be in the room behind this one and so I wanted to show you guys how to be able to counter attackers who are repelling and breaching through this side. As you can see here, I've already pre-broken a window and that's what you peek from. And as you can see, it's extremely hard to see that. So as, you know, as an attacker walking up, if you're not paying attention, like really close attention, you're not gonna see that. And so as long as you don't break the window, uh, these are pretty dirty peaks. So let me show you how to do it. As you saw outside, I already broke the window to the reading room here. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like from the inside. So as you can see, I mean, it's really bright right now, but it gives you a clear view of that far window and anyone hanging out outside. And again, this is hard to see from out there. So it's an easy kill. This next spot is actually just right above the reading room. Same idea, same kind of viewpoint, but a little bit higher. Again, just break that without breaking the window. And then that gives you a clear view of the upper window, as well as if you lie down and back up, a clear view of the roof. So anyone repelling or hanging out there, you got it. So as I pointed out outside, the other two windows are simply mirror images of the ones that I just showed you. So I'm in the lounge here on the first floor and what you wanna do is simply punch out the bottom corner. Again, do not break the window. And that gives you a clear view of the other window and the walkway right there. And the other one is simply right above this in the main office here. And again, all you wanna do, punch out the bottom corner without breaking the window and that gives you clear view of the other window as well as the roof. And if you want a little bit higher view of the roof, you can just back up and lay down and that gives you even more room. There you go. So that pretty much concludes the peaks, guys. I know I mentioned in the intro that I was gonna be doing all the maps and honestly, I looked through all the maps, but not all of them had really great spots for using this trick. And I only wanted to include the ones that I felt would be most helpful to you guys and the ones that you'd actually use in a game. With that being said though, if you guys found this video helpful and wanna see more videos just like this one, then let me know in the comments down below because as you guys know from my previous gameplay, 
I know a lot of peaks that I haven't made videos on, so if you want me to share them, I can definitely do that. But before I go guys, I have to say thank you guys so much for the support I've received over the last month. Like it's actually been insane and I can't I can't even like explain it. Like obviously I'm happy that you know more of you are watching my videos and being entertained by them and you know you're commenting and I'm able to talk to more of you guys and reply and stuff like that. But like, you know, less than a month ago, there was like, we just hit 50,000. There was 50,000 of us nuggets. And in less than a month, we've already jumped to, like, as I make this video, it's 90,000 or just less than 90,000. And that is like, what? Like, I just, I can't, I just can't even. So maybe by the time I post this video, you know, there'll be a couple more subscribers and stuff like that. But regardless, guys, you guys are honestly making my dream come true. And I can't thank you enough for that. But I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys go. Just know that it really means a lot to me that you guys support me. So thanks for watching and good luck sieging.